Hi, my gorgeous Pisces. How's everyone doing? Welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. This is going to be your ener uh, ener <laughs> general energy vibe chart for love. Uh, it's valid for the next hours, days, or weeks rather than months and years. Just general uh, portrait of love and time, if you if you <laughs> if you like. Um, Pisces, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, boo boo. Uh, it's a general reading. Bear that in mind. Take what resonates and what doesn't get rid of it. Also, Pisces, I'm doing a live on Wednesday with my friend Demi. We're going to be talking spirituality, tarot, love, uh, himbos, bimbos from Tinder, Bumble. So join us, please. We might be doing some readings for you as well. If you guys come with questions, we'll see how it goes. Just be taking random stuff. Uh, and so uh, it would be great to see you there, Bibbill. And also, if you'd like to get a private re reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Uh, please show me angels. It's happening for Pisces in love. Okay, I feel like uh, I feel like a cold breeze coming over me. Uh, maybe that resonates for someone out there. Um, it's like a cool breeze, or maybe like a breath of fresh air for someone coming out of something not so great. Hmm, interesting. Let me clarify a few of these cards for you and we'll get right into it. Hmm. So something's going well, Pisces. I feel, I feel like you've been... Some of you met someone recently. It's a new beginning. Someone interesting. You're interested in this person. You met them. And it's not too shabby. You know, ooh, yeah, not too shabby at all. Oh, this is such a cute reading. Okay, but what is this all about? Tell me, angels, what is the Nine of Pentacles about? Huh. Hmm. Wow, this is fascinating. Okay, Pisces, very interesting, very interesting read. You got the Ace of Pentacles in your recent past, definite new love, new beginning, new start. Uh, you made a new start in love, quite possibly in this early spring season, and you're rocking it because you got the King of Cups here, Pisces. This is where water signs, I'm Scooby, by the way, you're Pisces, so we're water signs. This is water sign energy. You're in your power here, sitting on your throne. Um, but this is also a person coming in, uh, king, queen, anyone in between, doesn't matter the gender, it's only energies, boo-boo. Um, someone is already in your life. It's a new love, but it's like, it, it was moving forward quite quickly. Someone who is extremely loyal, it's like that kind of, you know what I mean, like you have a new person in your life, and when this person looks at you, it's like they're looking at a snack. Like you are the snack, boo-boo. This person likes to eat, and you're cake, you're like, scrumptious cake um yeah this person is all over you uh yeah they're thirsty is what i'm gonna say they're thirsty what's crossing you here though is the wheel of fortune so i mean it's all very good it's like almost was meant to be i don't know how you met this person but it might feel like it was fated or it was meant to be you could have like a little bit of a doubt regarding this person um Cancer got a slightly similar message regarding their new person. Um, I don't know what it is, but you're just like holding back a little bit. You have some doubts about this person. Maybe it's about just like their physical characteristics. Um, maybe it's not or it's not your usual type, or it's about like maybe this person is a little bit or, older, a little bit younger. Just like a little bit, a bit of a disconnect here. Um, I feel like you're being a little bit on the defensive with this person, even though this, this person views you as a snack. You're like, mm, I don't know. You're about to come into your power. This is Scribu's card as well in the same position in a reading I just did for Scribu. Water signs getting similar energies again, boo boo. But look, seriously, this Queen of Wands is like, you're about to come into your power. You're, you're, you're going to be like, what's coming in for you in the next days, hours, or weeks is just like, you're going to be setting the world on fire, not just in love. But in general, you have some kind of a plan as well, Pisces. I don't know what you're up to, but you have some kind of a plan. 
it's to do with making a mark for yourself in the world, however, the, however that resonates for you. You're manifesting a lot of things. There are a lot of people. There's a lot of people around you in general, not just in love, who don't appreciate your power. Um, they have undervalued you. They're going to be very unpleasantly surprised. A lot of people envy you. Be careful, boo boo. Um, this is just, you know, general messages. So obviously if you have a lot of good friends and there's no friction, please, please don't go accusing your friends of envy. But, but if you already feel it, like it's for real, but you're a natural leader as well, Pisces, baby. What you don't know is, oh my God, I hate to say this, Pisces. I know I hate to say this, but I have to say what I see. And I did, I don't like this. I don't like this message for you. What you don't know, boo boo, is the nine of pentacles. Guess what? Your ex is watching you. I don't know who this is, someone you ended things with before you met this new person that you're dealing with currently. Um, this person's still watching you. They're not over it. It's like a ghost, like almost like a ghost from the past, a blast from the past. It's a sleeper too, clarified by the Four of Swords. Someone who's been like dormant. <laughs> I'm getting these weird words to, to describe this connection, but it's like a dormant, like sleeper agent kind of situation. It's like an ex, could be an ex that you're not expecting to be thinking about you. So it's like an ex that like, maybe not your most recent ex, but like the ex before that or something like that. Someone's been asleep for a long time, could be recent, but it's someone who's been dormant, like you, you're just like, you're, you're convinced this person is over it. You've got the nine of uh, pentacles double confirmation at the bottom of the other deck. So look at this, like nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Someone is considering send, sending you a message, but they're afraid to, because they think that you're going to reject them because of what happened in the past. Um, uh, they're haunted by you as well. This person can't sleep. Uh, they're trying to repress thoughts and feelings towards you, this person from your past, but they're still holding that torch, boo boo. Their heart never stopped beating for you. They try to, they try to get over you, but it didn't work. No matter what they do, they keep coming back to the same position, the same situation of loving you. At the end of the day, this is quite sad, uh, Pisces. I don't know what happened between you and this person, this person from your past, but maybe this is how you're going to recognize this person. Um, this is someone who will regret whatever they did to you. They're going to regret this till the day they die. And this person has already realized, maybe they didn't realize this before, but this person has now realized that. Um, on their deathbed, I know this is like a little dark, but bear with me i'm a scorpio this person knows already on their deathbed their thought will be of you however this resonates baby maybe you're a cross watcher take it as it resonates this person is very sad they were uh, emotionally unavailable to you before they're they could be just like straight up watching you or maybe they tried to send messages to you, but they're blocked, something like that, or they're not sending the message they want to send because they think they're blocked. But it kind of doesn't matter because, baby, this person is in the past. What's coming in for you uh, is a Four of Pentacles uh, in this deck. It's someone who literally has a key. <laughs> like this new person that you're dealing with right now, this new connection, this person already has the key to your heart. And they're willing to put in the work and they're not going to let you go because four, uh, four of Pentacles is holding on to things. They're not going to let it go. They're going to keep trying to make that lock, that lock and key fit until it fits because they really want to make it work. It's clarified by the Knight of Cups. Uh, someone who, who is offering your love. Look, I mean, this is the perfect trio. You have the Ace of Cups. We started with the Ace. Then we had the King of Cups. This is your per new person. Could be a Pisces just like you. Could be another water sign. It's just someone who's very romantic. And we finished with the Knight of Cups. That's the last card we pulled for you, Bibo. So this is just someone like you're currently with someone who's very emotionally available. Very much wants to make a work. You could be a little bit like, mm, I don't know about this person. It could be 
You could be a little bit defensive, but you should definitely give it a go because this person is head over heels and they're emotionally available and they're good and they're kind and they will treat you right. And they're going to work on this connection until it works out for both of you. You know, like they're not just going to give up when there's problems between you. They're not just going to disappear. They're not going to be emotionally unavailable. This person from the past who's still thinking about you, like they have this kind of like dead inside vibe to me. You know, this person did not make you feel so good. They have a lot of regrets where they, they, they want to come back into your life and apologize but I feel like if they do it's still not going to lead to anything positive for you because I'm not sure this person is capable of uh, fully participating in uh, in the realm of the living they have a broken soul there's something about them that's broken um, but instead of using that to grow their heart and their spirit and their empathy this person just like let it wither away um it's quite a dark energy. This person uh, from your past, they went through a lot of pain in their life and they kind of just like their, their little heart just like hardened and, and shrank. And your heart is uh, beautiful and large and expansive. And this King of Cups, like they have a large heart too and it's all about you, all for you. Maybe you think this person uh, is a little bit frivolous or maybe like a little bit, a little bit of a party goer, this new person that is good for you. Or maybe you just think that it's too early or maybe you're also thinking somehow telepathically about this other person that's thinking about you from the past. But, you know, this person is not, I feel like this person had their chance. It's obviously up to you, boo-boo. Um, but I feel like this person from your past was not so nice to you. And this person, there's a reason why you're in separation. And there's a reason why this person is hesitating to send you a message. Um, and this new person is like, all they're doing is sending you messages, making themselves known, giving you attention, giving you love. It's just all love, love, love. This is what Pisces needs, boo-boo. So it's up to you, but I do see this happening here for you. I see this new love working out for you. Uh, let's see. Let's get something from the Oracle. Please show me intros. Some advice here for Pisces. Ah, oh, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of, ho of holiday time together. If you're planning on going away uh, with this new person, this is definitely uh, a good idea. Or uh, it could just be, um, metaphorically speaking, you know, this is the honeymoon period. Uh, it is a new connection. I feel this very deeply here with this Ace of Cups in your past. Um, so this is a new connection. It's a connection that almost like you were meant to meet. It was meant to be. Uh, so enjoy it. Enjoy this person's adoration of you. Give them a chance. Even if you're not, uh, maybe not so much attracted to them or there's just something, they're not your type. Cancer got a very similar read. Um, if there's something about them or, or if you're just like a little bit blocked because you're still thinking about this person from the past, but maybe you're not because I feel like or if you are, like, you would be very surprised. I feel like you're very surprised, Cancer, right now. Me telling you that this person is thinking about you and, like, constantly on the verge of mustering you, but they're they're afraid. I feel like that is, like, quite surprising to you. You would not have thought that. This person is kind of obsessed with you. They're obsessed with the loss of you. It could be, like I say, someone from uh, deeper, the, like, your deeper past to deeper, like, maybe not, like, so recent. For some of you, it's recent, but it's unexpected that this person has these feelings. Um, but I would say uh, the messages here are for uh, focusing on what is in your present, focusing on the person that is worthy of you, making themselves worthy of you. Uh, boo -boo, that is what I have for you here. It's obviously up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, you can do whatever you want. But I see a beautiful connection coming in for you. Um, let me know in the comments below, again, if this is your story. I'm always curious to hear your stories, boo-boo. Uh, I might see you on Wednesday if you want to join me and Demi for our live at 12 noon PST. It'll be so much fun. We'll be, we'll be talking about this stuff. We'll be talking about uh, magical things and tarot and love and the journey of life. I love you, boo-boo. I'll see you next time, and may the angels protect you.